I need you to listen to me. A truck hit your car. What? You're dead, Michael. No, I can't be dead. I, I, I got stuff to do. Unfortunately, you died single. So? Souls cross over in pairs. Angelo! Michael! You have to find a soulmate. You're dead! Yeah. You look great! This is fantastic! I'm so glad you're dead! So I just ask dead girls on dates? Sure, why not? How do I find someone if I don't see anybody most of the time? Come on, don't be dumb. Just squint really hard and you see whoever you want. Sorry. I met this girl. I really feel like she's the one, you know, she's she's everything. Are you worried a new dead guy will show up and sweep me off my feet? Yeah, a little. That looks flimsy. I don't even know why we haven't been whisked up into the sky or whatever happens. For some reason, you don't match the criteria. Yeah, we're not soulmates. Sorry. What, do you think even the universe thinks you're too good for me? Hey, watch it. Well, because I'm alive and you're dead. So what exactly happens if I don't find a soulmate? You cease to exist, and the world goes on without you, as always. How much time do we have? It's like life. Nobody knows, and everybody gets a different amount. Oh! I mean, why can you hear me? Why can you see me? Why do you understand this? I've just been seeing this stuff a lot lately. Normally, it's not possible to bond with someone who's on the other side of the line, but she's close. What does that mean? It means she's going to die soon. So I have to let something terrible happen so I can hope that it means we work out for each other? I mean, she still has her whole life. I can't let her die. This isn't going to work out for you the way you want it to. You can't change destiny. Michael, this is my friend Faith. And Faith, this is my newly deceased friend, Michael. I am missing Pilates for this. <laughs> Hey Lisa here with a bonus behind the scenes movie fact. Did you know that there's a Starbucks cup in every fight club scene? Director David Fincher thought the Starbucks shops popping up on every block of LA in the late 90s was too much of a good thing. So he poked fun of the coffee chain in fight club. He's claimed to have sneaked a Starbucks cup into every shot with permission of the chain, of course. With one exception, Starbucks didn't want its shop destroyed on the film. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.